Hello, I'm going to show you how to use Finale 2009 music writing software. Um, let's double click it, let's open it up. Oh. And then we're going to go to Setup Wizard. Um, go to Piano. I made this. You can do that by going to Create New Ensemble and hit Next. And then go hit Piano and then just hit Save as New Ensemble. Type the name Piano and there you go. I would just say that in case you're just writing all piano music, we're going to call this piece, um, uh, Deep Fried Love Nuggets. Subtitle is going to be, um, from the collection, can you spell Michael? There you go, from the collection bad stuff to eat uh, composer is me duh the arranger is me duh lyricist is no one because there aren't any and copyright we'll make this a futuristic piece it's from year 3056 alright next um, let's do this in I like D. D is just a good key. D major, 3, 4. That sounds pretty good. All right, finish. And then we wait for a couple seconds, a couple more seconds. And there we go. Here's our piece right here. It looks pretty fantastic. Um, I'm going to write just a quick four-measure piece for you guys right here. Click this to get started. Go over here. Let's click the quarter note. And then we're going to start off. We're in D major. So we're going to do D, F, A. Sounds pretty good. Um, that gets really boring fast. So we'll go over here. Um, what you can do is just click one note. And then we're going to do just hit the letter after it. Hit A. And then you hit... B, for example, and then hit A, then hit G, A, B, and then we can hit D, D, D. Um, but wait, I want to make these triplets right here. So just go up here to your triplet tool, and then just double-click the first note of the three triplets. Um, it'll say here, three triplet, three eighths in the space of two eighths, all that other stuff. Just hit OK. And there we go. We got our triplets right there. Um, when doing triplets in the future part of a piece, it that gets a little hard. Um, best thing you want to do is grab here, highlight, and just drag and drop that into the next eighth note place. I want to make this measure all triplets. So that's the best thing to do. Um, Finale makes it a little hard to do triplets sometimes. That's what I found. But this is the easiest way. And then from there, go over here, hit your eighth note. And then you can just edit the notes from there. That's what I found to be the easiest. Now I'm just hitting right going on to the next note. And then we want to do a couple more D's. Um, and then you can just hit uh, click it. You can just click over a note and hit delete to delete it. Let's say we wanted to make this a half note actually instead of going over here and clicking the half note, which I'm pretty sure you guys would do. You can just hit alt and you can hit six and hit a period. And there we go. We finished our piece right there. Um, we can go ahead and do the bass line right now and make something really simple. Just half notes. We'll do a couple chords. We'll do, um, smooth voicing uh, we'll do DFA we'll say this is a five chord right here so we'll do C and then E and then A hit your period right there we're gonna do a five chord we're gonna do a four chord right here we're gonna do retrogression even though we're not allowed to do that we're gonna go D G B period and then D F A Sounds great. Let's say on this last measure we want to add a little soul line above it. Go down here. Hit the 2. This will be your second layer right here. We're going to go over and then hit this part right here. Let's do 30 second notes. Make a nice cool ending. And then we want to make 
make this really neat. D C B A G F E So I think that'll sound nice and pretty. Um, and then what you want to do when you're all done, you can go back here, hit play. So that sounds awesome. Oh, but we got a problem. This thing's still going because there's all these extra measures. Let's say that's all you wanted right there. Um, what? what you can do, scroll up a little, grab your little chord thingy right here, and then start highlighting measures. And hit Control X. That'll cut them from the piece. And this is actually working. You just can't see it because this is not a full screen thing right here. Um, X out again. X that. We only have three measures left. Scroll over. Control X. And here is our finished piece right here. Um, another quick thing. I'm going to erase this measure right here. Um, just highlight it, hit backspace. I'll show you how to do a couple chord things real quick. You hold, you hit F and then hit Shift and then hit the note that you want above it, A, and then you hit Shift again and hit like a D. Let's say we wanted that to be a low D. Actually, we messed up. We messed up. Just uh, move it down a little bit with your mouse pad by selecting make it blue. Hit right. Um, then we can hit D, Shift A, or sorry, Shift F, Shift A. And then we can do it one more time. We'll make this a little bit different though. We'll do D, Shift, um, G, G, Shift, B. So now that's the easiest way to do chords right there. Um, And that's how you make music in Finale, pretty much. You can go over here, File, and then go down to Print. Um, go ahead and print your score out. Or if you have multiple parts, which we don't right here, just hit Piano, Flute, Trombone, Trumpet, uh, Flugelhorn, Xylophone, whatever you have, and then hit OK and Print, and then you'll be done. That's it. Easy as nuggets. Love nuggets that are deep fried.